Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We are live tonight. I'm Lucas, and I am here with Christian and Anna. Good evening. So we did have a few things on tap that we were thinking about doing tonight, but we decided to cancel all those because Anna said she wasn't going to make it. But then, so, you know, Christian and I scrambled. We tried to come up with something that we hadn't reviewed. We found it. But then, Anna, when we said, we're going to do the show without her, she's like, no, no, we can't do that. I have to pop in. So, That's Anna's here. absolutely the true version of events. Absolutely. It's pretty close, actually. <laughs> so close. I think, so close. I, I think the, uh, we didn't really scramble you know, whatever, like we had already come up with, with that before. And it was, it was really more that we actually plan things out ahead of time. And then, <laughs> and so that's the problem right there, because if we would have just been like, yeah, it's going to be whatever, then. I know. Well, spontaneity done... works so much better for my life. Yeah. I yeah. had planned out what I was doing today, like a week ago too. It got canceled five minutes before I did it. Wow. You know, so good. There you go. But yeah, we're we're kind of in a little bit of a lull, so we're trying to catch up on a couple figures that we hadn't uh, hadn't done, and we got some of those Netflix coming in, and and but uh, we have not done Inferno uh, yet because Anna does not have Inferno, unfortunately. Actually, surprise, surprise! I went and I got Inferno. <laughs> oh my god! Right, right. I'll unbox it on camera. <clears throat> I don't think you guys knew me when that line was out. Do you know how many of those things I have in my house? A lot because of all the sticker sets. Six? Bingo. I think it's five. Okay. So what Anna held up was the Power of the Primes Inferno, which I, I'm really curious when they came out with that, if it was just something like where they're like, all right, what's another, you know, repaint that we can do on this thing just to kind of throw something together. Was that pretty much the thinking you, you think? I think it's part of Secret Guard City. They made a head for him. Wait, that's just effort. If you put Inferno with a first aid and like some helicopter and Rickgar and Blue Blue Streak, I guess. That's kind of Guard City. Kind of. It's kind of an odd head for Inferno, though. I don't think that they thought that far. I think it was really more that they're like, okay, we need yet another repaint here. What are we going to throw together? So, which, I don't know. I well, still kind of feel it like... It had been a while since Inferno had been the Classics line. Yeah, it had been since that whatever-the-heck square figure... Yeah, the universe one, which is horrible. And everyone loves it, except me and Anna. It's fine. I it's like stupid it. it's square. Fine. I mean, it's 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 whatever. Um, I really but yeah, I don't it. know. I feel like every Power of the Primes, you know, figure, like, I don't know. When, when the line was coming out, it was a disappointing line for me at the time. You know, like, just because I really enjoy Commander Wars. Except for Slash. Oh, except for, okay. Well, and uh, Abominus, too, was was cool. So Abominus was cool at the time, and that thing has not aged well on the shelf. I, I, yeah, but I anyway. kind of wish now that I would have gotten the new Abominus. Um, I canceled my pre-order, and um, I don't know. But th they'll probably remake it anyway, so it doesn't matter. So Yeah, nevertheless. I was with you to get the new one, and it is different, and it's, like, nice, but it's not different enough, especially since I reaper labeled the original one. Oh, that's so it's probably like, what I should do. So yeah, it, it made a difference. Anyway, and I got a I, kid, and anyway, it's fine. I don't know if anybody actually um, has this as their inferno. Actually, uses the power that's of the nice. primes one as their inferno because it's such an oddball. You know, because Inferno has a look. Inferno has a, like, style that he's always built it. That same, like, big fire truck front and the legs with the wheels on it and the fire hose. Like, that's how he's always looked. So I feel like, you know, this one really misses the mark on looking anything like Inferno. 
It's a red fire truck. Yep. It's not enough for me. I love the Inferno design. It's one of my favorite Transformers designs from G1. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's why I'm surprised that you didn't get this, Anna, because it is a really nice version. I mean, it's not masterpiece level or anything like that, but it's... <coughs> I am just uncomfortably out of room. That is honestly where I am right now. I have my um, MMC version of Inferno that I've had for a while. I'll never get rid of because it has sentimental value to me and I love it. Mm -hmm. And I just have to make sacrifices. I don't know. I kind of actually like this better than the MMC. Or, oh, no, I'm sorry. Not MMC. I was thinking of Make Toys. Yeah. I, like I would go with MMC one. over this one, but Make Toys. I would. I, I would wouldn't actually, but that's. I would go with Make Toys I mean, over MMC. That's just a personal preference thing, though. Yeah, I don't know. I, MMC I really like has that. that one look. hasn't aged that well. It does. The MMC one has a look, and I'm not into that look. It is a if look with a look, capital L. It is okay. quite the thing. It is very a much like WK. It is definitely like a masterpiece version of the toy. Like, nothing yeah. related to the design or to the cartoon version. It's just, like, they took that original toy and made a super cool, complex version of it. And that is my Inferno memories, is having the Inferno toy yeah. as a kid. So he's cooler to me. But this one, this one looks fantastic. This one you guys yeah. are talking about. Yeah, so Christian, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to hold up the alt mode. So the, the alt mode looks uh, really good. It does the yeah. thing. Yeah. It's fire trucky. He's got some new pieces. The ladder piece is new. Um, yep. The hose parts are new. There's a hose here. There's a hose here. Those are new from Grapple. And he does not include Grapple's claw. But that's okay because he doesn't need it. And the hoses come off, He does off, still have right? the, yeah. the hoses do come off. They, they are So removable. they're like on a 5 millimeter peg. And they just come off. And he still comes with the... Um, the nozzle attachment for his hand and it stores on the side of the ladder, just like a sword on the side of Grapple's crane. The most important part though, is that the feet pegs have been fixed. Or I guess oh, the peg yeah, holes so they don't and the break. pegs. So they've both been remolded so that they don't snap off in the holes anymore. That's really good. Cause every time I see that Grapple go really cheap, I think about grabbing it just cause the only Grapple I have is my Legends wand. And I'm like, oh, those pegs. I you don't can, do it. You can it's do it if you're careful, problem. or you like, can yeah. sand them, or yeah. whatever. There's way. There's totally normal ways to get around it. And I, you know, since it's your favorite design, I would recommend you pick up at least one of these. I would definitely another one. say That's if way. If, uh, if you can get it on clearance, I mean, I definitely would get this mold. It, it is it is a fun mold. It's very good. We talked about. I'm 100 percent getting art fire. So. Oh, That'll be yeah, my version of the mold. So are you I, I've just always thought our fire is pretty. I'm going to try selling my masterpiece our fire, but not the target master. See how it goes. Because mm -hmm. I adore mold. that target master. It's so good. Anyway. But yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. What do you the guys like are, about this? The are nice too on this. Like I like that they painted the inside. I don't know. I realize that it's not a tough bar to say, oh, the wheels are, you know, different colors or painted, whatever. But, like, these are things that Hasbro wouldn't do in the past. So the fact that we're mm -hmm. getting all these accessories, the fact that, you know, the wheels are painted and whatever, I, I, it just makes me happy. Yeah, I think it's important to praise them when they do, do it right. It's a you know, retail all the Hasbro toy people that listen to us. Back in the day, you know, you couldn't hold up a retail toy to me and me be like, that's striking. I wish I had that in my hands right now. But that is, you know, that's one of those things I look at and I'm like, man, mm -hmm. I'm genuinely jealous that I don't have that thing. It is rather striking. The color red they used on this, Lucas is picking it pretty well, better than my mm -hmm. camera. But uh, it's it's perfect. I don't yes. know how to describe it other than that. It's not that deep crimson red or the maroon red that we've seen before for Inferno. Like, this is what Inferno looks like in my memories. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's really neat. And his articulation's great, too, right? Everything except for rest. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the same. 
the same articulation so the you know it has uh your ankle like just due to the transformation like <coughs> you know your ankle could pretty much go everywhere um i mean he's got his you know waist swivel um i mean i guess the head doesn't really articulate all that much just because the way that it is uh, infernos I mean, never goes, really do though it goes back and forth but it's not gonna you're not really going to get up and down. Um, the so, only articulation yeah. I really wish it had that it doesn't have is in vehicle mode. The ladder is on a rotational joint, so it should be able to rotate. But it does not because it's hindered by the box for the head assembly. Hmm. That's an odd choice. Yeah. Grapple head, too. Bummer. Like, if it just... If it went one more click, it could do it at one stage, but it can't. <clears throat> Bummer. Yeah, it's just, it's blocked. So, the one thing I'll say, though, about the hand articulation, though, Anna, is the fact that, you know, you can change it so that it can have the hose hand. Like, I can forgive that on this, you know, the fact that it doesn't have wrist swivel, just because it, it does that. I Like, the other ones that don't have that is a little more annoying, but... And I'll give you that. Thing. Honestly, like I think that's a big, that's a big plus is that it does have the hand adapters, and I think that does kind of excuse the rotation. It's something funny we were talking about. Oh, you got it! Yes, you if you can get it completely way. flat, it'll. Do there it. you go. But like if you angle it up just even one. Oh, well, so they... never mind. I did it wrong. Just could completely disregard what I said. I had it transformed the wrong way. No, he has no fine. problems with it. He loves no it. No problems. Hmm. There you go. I just don't know how to transform toys. That's all. So, we so were talking Christian the other day. Christian has no complaints now. Good. Christian has no complaints now. Every time I complain about wrist swivel, I always think about this. And we were talking the other day, I think on the Discord or somewhere, about how we don't actually have wrist swivel. You know, like humans. Like, we don't have wrist swivel. We have, like, a right under the elbow swivel. Our actual wrist doesn't actually turn. So, you know, the figures like RC that have just a little bit of a wrist like that are actually accurate to what our joints really are. Whereas the ones that actually have the wrist swivel are just like, you know, kind of approximating how we swivel our arms with something else. Really, the joints should be down here. So. So, so what you're saying is, is that your complaint that you've had for all these figures for the, like the last two or three years are completely invalid. Um, because not they, invalid, they poorly worded, poorly worded. I should be I mean, not wanting, this wrist. I shouldn't want a wrist swivel. I should want an under the elbow swiveliness thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess technically you can't do that. So I'm not good at body parts, Christian. You gave me that look. I, I did. I did give you that look. <laughs> so the little wings articulate as well. So, um, has had so if you're looking for articulation on that but i do like the way that they did it just because they don't pop off like i remember the make toys one i felt like that they always kind of popped mm -hmm. off whenever you mess with it but this doesn't and these are yeah they're pinned hinges yeah so they can fold back in a way in the vehicle mode where they are right there How's the face? Because as I as I pointed out earlier, when I'm looking at this power of the prime spawn, I hadn't ever really thought about how this face looks nothing like Inferno, but that one looks think, more Christina? like Inferno. Yeah, I think I like that one better. I think I like that one better because the really team on Inferno out. toy and his cartoon look just had that very like streamlined kind of pretty '80s robot look. I always think of him as having Voltron face, basically mm. in the very like plain pretty '80s robot face. And I really like that face. So I like it when they capture it. But yeah, no, I, I think the uh, I think the face looks really nice. The head looks nice. Yeah, it does. Good, I think it does. Old. I don't know who this guy is over here. So. Different guy. He made a good fire chief. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I finally ordered some repro labels and I utterly forgot I was going to get a set for this thing. Literally bought this thing. Oh yeah, because you're going to do pyro, put labels think, on it. Right? Yep, yep, because pyro looks really pretty. And now I'm going to have to get more repro labels someday. Sorry, though. Mm -hmm. 
I, I feel like that that, uh, you know, ship has sailed for me. I don't know. I haven't applied repo labels in so long just because, like, I used to do it all the time. It was a big thing for me with Combiner Wars. Like, oh, yeah. part of the thing was is Combiner Wars, like, there's so many figures that I'm like, if I didn't put them on, it would bug me the way that they look. Whereas, like, these figures, it doesn't. Like, you know, they have enough uh, paint. Yeah, it's just not as necessary now. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did apply a kit last week for the first time in like a year. I made my third auto trooper from an order that I made like at the end of 2019, I guess. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Let's get those auto troopers are cool. Yeah. But I, I think, you know, this looks okay without stickers. That looks good without stickers like right. honestly i think we've come pretty far since power of the primes level of detail and even you know power of the primes tried by having those god-awful foil stickers that we all hated but um Hair this is stickers. so much better yeah that the price increase really helps with that i think and people are going to deride it all the time because transformers fans are notoriously cheap but Man, if it costs twenty two dollars to make the one that you have, Anna, versus thirty dollars to make this one, I will pay thirty dollars for this one any day. Yeah, for real. All day, every day. Right. I, I mean, that that's entirely. the thing is, I feel like that this is like the Inferno that I always wanted as far as a retail yep. figure. Like, yeah. I don't think that I'm ever going to have to replace that, and th that's a nice feeling. Like, We've been saying that a lot over the last year and a half. Yeah. See if you and I will, you know, hold on to that. <laughs> but, uh... I, I mean, I feel like that there's some figures that I'll probably replace at some point. Like, if they come out with a nicer Starscream, or if they come out with, like, a nicer, you know, Megatron, Optimus Prime, whatever. Like, those main, main characters. Like, I could see where it's like, I really want the, the absolute best version. For Inferno and some of the other ones that are, you know, like, more in the B tier um, for me, I don't necessarily need to have... Like if they if they came out with another one, but but who knows? Talk to me ten years from now, and I you know probably get the new no one. more Megatrons ever, please. <laughs> I can guarantee you there'll be another Megatron. I'm tired. I'm just tired. There's not a lot of guarantees in this life, but I am certain there will be another Megatron. There's so many Megatrons, and there's so many sideswipes. But the difference is that all the sideswipe molds are are different. different all the Megatrons people. are all gray and silver Megatron. They're all just the Megatron. Oh, they're exhausting. Yeah. So. I should have grabbed my um my Magic Square grapple. He's just like just out of arms reach right now. But I wanted to say that like when you got your grapple, it really reminded me of the Magic Square one. And the Magic Square one is one of those things where I'm like, you know, this is thirty dollars worth of tiny plastic. Like, yeah. you know, it's the right price for its size and everything because it is an amazing little figure and i feel like that is more or less just a larger version of the magic square one like it's got a few places where it's a little less complex than the magic square version but i it's mean i still would really say great. this one is definitely still more stylized you know like the magic square yeah. one if you want a g1 version um or a like whatever cartoon version aesthetic yeah it's like that's great. the one from the animation I, style yeah no the thing i think is interesting for me is i actually like inferno better than grapple as far as these molds and Twice. whereas like the masterpiece i actually was the opposite way because the inferno was so plain on the masterpiece it was just like everything was just you know plain red all over the place and so i like the breakup uh of that but like this i don't know i just really like the colors um and, and whatever and I, I just like it just a little bit better than the grapple what, what do you think christian hard to say i think probably you're right in front of just that little bit better I'll be honest, I don't like MP Inferno. Like, if I, you know, I am literally getting rid of my MP Art Fire, even though I still have MP figures, and I still like MP figures, and I keep all the ones I like, I'm going to get rid of my Art Fire and replace them with that, because I'd rather have that. That looks like a more fun item to own than the MP, MP Inferno figure. was the fastest toy I ever sold. 
Yeah, it's just I got that I just thing. Think it's and funny I'm so that... excited. It, it, I got it. I was I... like, this is awful, and it was out the door the next day. <laughs> I just think it's funny because you guys, um, you know, normally I'm the one that's kind of knocking Masterpiece and whatever, right? Um, whereas, like, I really enjoyed that figure. Now, I again, I think that the look is plain um, on it, but I thought the transformation was really cool on it, on, on the Masterpiece. Like, I really enjoyed it. It was, it was one of those things where it wasn't too complex, like, I mean, a lot of this, you know, masterpieces now are just, it's not as fun for me. Um, but uh, I don't know. Like, I, I felt like with Inferno, and I think Megatron was around that same time period. And it was just kind of an interesting puzzle to see, you know, what what they did with those those figures. And so, I don't know. I, I actually really like, like that mold, even though, you know, it's kind of plain. The, the ladder magic is admirable it really is like it, it's a really neat mm -hmm. thing and i'm glad to see that same kind of mentality with things like our new cyclonus having that same kind of idea of things just like folding up so much and going inside to this like fascinating level that was really impressive but the look of that they did robot mode just is like one of the worst attempts at inferno for my eyes ever and i love the way inferno looks <laughs> yeah, it's the first full figure that went with the we're going to be exactly like the cartoon look. And I hated that for masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, my, my fandom, my nostalgia is all toy for Inferno. I honestly couldn't really tell you what his personality is like from the cartoon. Cause you know, we didn't have very much, but I know what my toy was like, <laughs> the personality my toy had. And I want it to look like that. But I'm picky like that. I think, you know, there's enough good Infernos out there for everybody. Because it's not yeah, like the MP that... toy's actually bad, bad. No. Like, Lucas likes it. What a world to have so many choices for a character like Inferno. A lot of fandoms don't get yeah. that kind of choice. Yeah. It's really cool. You have a lot more choices for Inferno than you do even, like, Jazz, who's always been a fan favorite. So sad. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Jazz... Chaz has a few choices too. There, there was a, f a number of jazzes. He had a decent third party selection. Yeah. Not having an MP really hurt some. All right. Yeah. Darn license. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll finally get it. So. You never know. I know Ron uh, oh, was bringing licensed. up um, one about that uh, Kingdom Wave three deluxes are available at Best Buy. I don't know if that's still the case, but. Um, they were, it was, was like earlier. 40 minutes ago when I ordered tracks. Yeah, depending on where you it's live. It's for pickup. Yes, it's for, for, pickup, it's for pickup. And for in our area, it's a week from now for pickup. But yes, me too. That's not so bad, right? Because you're still getting it early, and you know you're getting it. So. Um, and then also he was bringing up about hopefully the rumors are true about the combiners getting upgraded, and I completely agree with you. It's one of those things where. You know, Christian and I, we, we've talked about this, like, you know, it was, we both really enjoyed Combiner Wars at the time, but now, mm -hmm. like, kind of years later, we'd like a little more articulation out of the figures, and, like, I personally would like them to be a little bit bigger uh, than, than what they are. I think that the, some of the molds definitely hold up, like the Siberian, um you know that one is pretty good and computron and all those derivatives but the the other ones it just did not hold up for me minosaur for yeah sure. i've come around to thinking that it's time to get them updated again it took me a while i really did love combiner wars but that doesn't my, getting new versions doesn't mean the fun i had is moot mm -hmm. Well, and luckily with Combiner with Wars, there were sometimes. like 50 versions of every mold. That's so true. You can always just keep keep the extras, like the G2 versions, they probably won't yeah, do again. Yeah, probably will get they, for a while. Since, since those went on deep clearance at the time. <laughs> Although now I think they're probably uh, worth a decent amount till till they announce, you know, till everyone realizes that uh, new one's coming out. I bet they'll do select box sets of them like they did for God Neptune last year. I bet they will. Just they'll do a lower print run and put it in a cardboard box that says selects on it, so you think it's fancy. 
Thanks, Ron. But um, I don't know if I've ever um, if I've ever mentioned this on the show before, but I had more or less stopped buying new Transformers when Combiner Wars come out came out because I was in grad school and I just didn't really have an income. So I thought, you know, don't buy toys and probably don't start this up again because, you know, maybe it wasn't the wisest decision to be a toy collector. But then I found out that Combiner Wars was putting out the Protectobots. And that was one of my favorite things as a kid. You know, rescue vehicles that turned into a combiner was so cool because they were nice and they helped people. In my mind, they didn't fight, which I know, not really accurate, but child mind does what it wants. Pretty accurate, except for Blades. I was so excited. Yeah, I know. But I didn't mind that about Blades because he's different. Uh, But I was so excited that I started buying figures again. You know, those guys are really what got me back into um, toy collecting, Um, even though I was not really in the financial situation to do it at the time. I did manage to, you know, one at a time, save up my nickels and go get them. It really got me back into it. That also got you into toy reviewing. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. I tried to record my first toy reviews then, and I never put them up anywhere, but I tried them. <laughs> I've seen the secret Anna review. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I was so young. I was like, I was like a foot shorter and still in school. And no, it wasn't that long ago. But anyway, what what is important is that like I really did have a good time with those. Like they were great. Every one I got, I played with it. I thought about how, you know, it reminded me of the original toy. It got me so into it. When I put together Defensor, I wasn't even actually disappointed. Now I look back at that Defensor and I'm like, ugh. But at the time I was like, you know what? This is cool. I have Defensor again. It was so exciting. And now I think that shows just how far we've come in just a short amount of time. Yeah, it really does. I mean, Combiner Wars was 2015. That's yeah, I know. six years ago. That's the so last Combiner we got, you know, was Abominus. Or if you want to count it like Ruination was the last one. That was in 2017? 18? Yeah. The time's all running together for me right there. So it's just, it's really cool to see that we've come so far in such a short amount of time. And I think it's a testament to how far we've come that we want combiners again because we can see in our brains what they could be with modern Transformers engineering. I agree. I think it's super cool. But anyway, we weren't talking about combiners tonight. We were talking about Inferno, who who is a combiner. Tracks off of Best Buy's website. I (laughs) I bet you were. So, yeah, Randall, you're right. Technically, the the Seacons last year. Very upgraded, though. Those were very, very upgraded. Redone. And they um, actually look closer to modern figures now. As far as Inferno goes, uh, I'm very ready for Artfire. He looks great. Uh, please, please, Hasbro, bring on Hauler. I have a please. grapple that's just hanging out in vehicle mode to be my Hauler right now, but if the green one comes out, I will buy that in a heartbeat. Please. I would love please. the green one. It'd please, be pretty. Please, please. I don't have a version of that yet. Yeah, how is there not a hauler yet? Of all the things, Look, we didn't we didn't know there'd be an art fire until um, yeah. five weeks ago. So true. Yeah, and Hasbro doesn't talk to us anymore, so they could have a hauler coming out next week, and we'd never know. They're Maybe they'll be at the new Hasbro. Fall. fall. Right. They are talking to us in fall. It will have been three months by that point that they've talked to us. But you know who gets a fan first Friday every week now? Power Rangers. You sound like a spurned, like, you know, ex-boyfriend. I or am. Like I'm that, so you know? spurned. I was you really, really do. invested in it. <laughs> You're like, it's oh, fantastic. they only talk to me every three months. They talk to that damn new guy every day. Power Rangers <laughs> is the new guy. They bought that last year. I know. Power Rangers is the new guy. Oh. I think Power Rangers is doing well for them. Not that Transformers isn't, but it's not like they need to do anything. To make Transformers do well, it just goes. I'm just annoyed that so many figures are making it to retail unannounced. We're at three now. How many more will it take? Um, did you see the uh, Studio Series Thundercracker, I guess, dropped in Asia? 
So you're thinking 76. you thrust. Thrust. Oh, was it thrust? You're right. Sorry. My bad. Thundercracker was the it, like, last right Toys R Us exclusive. So... Yeah. Oh, wait. Thrust is actually out at retail? Yeah, like someone found and it. That's four, then. That's four figures that have made it to retail unannounced. Oh, yeah. I it's forgot. Studio we Series also Grindor, have the... Studio Series Thrust, T-Rex, and uh, Red Alert. Don't forget, tomorrow we got a new mashup. Uh, the J- the, the music J- label. Blavin, whatever, Soundwave. Blyvin, Blyvin. Yay. Uh, yeah, the Endorse. Balvin. There you Man, go. is that a pretty design, though? Like, it is just so, it's so all over. It's, it's a knockoff. Bad. Did you know that? Like the, it's actually yeah, it's, based on a knockoff. Is it? Up knockoff. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. It is so pretty. I don't, I don't know if it's just a crazy coincidence or not, but it's, it's that such knockoff. preposterous no color. Also, they're like, hey, it's a brand new Ravage Deco, bro. That's stripes. Uh, that was funny. That was funny to see stripes <laughs> there, and it's like, it's, oh. it's exactly stripes. We got this. It was kind of funny. Like, hey, it's Ravage. He's got tiger stripes, bro. That's already a character. The birdie's fun, though. <sighs> yeah, the birdie's fun. I like it, but I I haven't seen a price on it yet, and I'm imagining it's. Someone mentioned to me the similarity between the bump of chicken bumblebee that we got a while back. And that thing was so expensive. I think this will fall in line with like Japan, the Lincoln Park though. sound wave. That's true. It's true. We'll see. So. But yeah, no, you're 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 right. So I don't. It know. could end up because I mean the bump of chicken um, bumblebee was even expensive in yen. You know, it it was not a cheap item in the first place. So this could no. be, you know, a oh. hundred dollar G one sound wave Ron in goofy colors. Box. So uh, I mean, that's, I think that's that's about right. Honestly, about as much as it would cost you to get that bumblebee. <laughs> Well, if you consider the Walmart reissues, the two packs of cassettes were twenty bucks. The Soundwave was fifty bucks, so ten bucks for exclusivity. I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm not going to buy it, but uh, have fun with it. And uh, I mean, the, not the Jurassic get, Park crossover is what, like, one hundred and five bucks. So, I mean, one one ten. Yeah. That one's awesome, though. Oh, it looks so it good! Is it looks so yeah. good. Yeah. I'm super excited for that. Like, I'm not super excited about the way they made the T-Rex robot look. Like, it's it's cool, but I would have complaints. But good grief, that truck is just so fun. I'm so excited. Can't wait to talk about that and microcasters in 50 years. <laughs> It'll be a couple months. In November, I think, right? It's supposed to be in November, yeah. Yeah, but then one of us will get theirs lost in the bell. I will have to cover it in like February. And that'll be great. So wait, does the sound wave come with blast effects or which one is Ron talking comes about? Comes with blast effects. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it comes bloody. with some, some like everything they look comes like, with blast effects. The first thing I thought of with those blast effects are those um what are they called? Like blast off pops or whatever, rocket pops. Those popsicles they make what that are red, white, and blue. Doing? Christian may have forgotten we were still live. Nope, I had to go outside and rescue something from my porch because it's raining like crazy. Uh, oh, okay. That's okay. fair. I was like, what is That's that why. sound? It was, was the rain. I thought you flushed gotcha. the sound with toilet. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm back. But yeah, it, those blast effects, they look like... What, what are those pops called? Those um, Rocket pops. Rocket pops, right. yeah, those those popsicles that are red, white, and blue. That's what they look like to me, and that makes me laugh a lot. Any- I just I'm done with blast effects. Please don't make them anymore. They'll they'll be here forever, Christian. Just for you. Henry agrees with me. He says no more blast effects. That's right. Exactly. He came in just, just to like say blast that. effects. He makes he's, the rules. He's a known hater of blast effects. He writes letters. To his congressman about it all the time. So uh, back to Inferno. I would say I would highly recommend him. Yeah, please um, go buy him. He's great. I, I would definitely buy him. That uh, I don't think that we're going to get a better retail Inferno. So Every Transformers fan should own an Inferno. So I think go get it. So. 
All right. Well, um, I guess uh, do oh book club. Uh, Randall mentioned that earlier. Uh, book club this week is uh, at eight o'clock Central Time, nine o'clock Eastern. That you guys will watch an episode of Animated episode two and then at nine o'clock rid 44 and 45 you discuss that you guys watch an animated now that's great we are so we're doing at eight o'clock central we're getting together and watching a single episode of an animated discussing it and then started the comic discussion um i hear i was i was busy with my family emergency stuff that i've been busy with off and on the last couple weeks but i hear that it went well last week nice. so I think we're going to keep trying to do it. Fun. You may see me there. It will be fun. Know. It is required for you to have fun or we remove you from the chat. So, okay. so this week, That's will like, fireworks be going on in the background while you guys are doing it? Oh, Shoot yeah. It it's Fourth Sunday night. And gosh, I'm out of town. Jeez. All right. <laughs> so. I forgot. Anyway, so, oh, hi to Alan. It'll still happen. Yeah, hi, Alan. We miss you. Hi, Alan. Oh. So, all right. Well, um, I guess if that's it, um, thank you to everyone tonight. Thanks uh, to everyone in the chat. Uh, Ron, Alan, uh, <coughs> Randall, and I think that's it for tonight, right? So. Yeah. Yep. Moth carriage says bye. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>